Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at a G1 Transformer fig. This is Brainstorm, he is one of four Transformer Headmasters to come out of the 1987 series. And out of the four, the other three being Hardhead, Highbrow, and Chrome Dome. He is probably been my favorite out of the four. I really like his um, kind of futuristic Starfighter jet mode here. I think that's pretty cool. He's got some nice detail throughout. Um, unfortunately, there's really nothing going on in the back here. Which there's maybe some stickers or something, but oh well. But not too bad. Now you can, if you like, put the tail fins up, like so. You have that look. And it doesn't look too bad. And I also like the Headmaster gimmick for the fact that um, you get a little more playability since the Headmaster can be the um, pilot or the driver of the vehicle, which is pretty cool. Now, Brainstorm here is featured in the three-part story arc called the Rebirth series. That was, I guess, technically season four for the U.S. cartoon. And the story, in my opinion, is kind of weak. I mean, Hasbro essentially just, you know, has the series as a, you know, basis for selling the toy, which that's what the cartoons were made for. But I just wish there was a little bit more to it. It just feels like it was rushed. Now, if you really want to know a little bit more about the Headmasters, check out the Japanese Headmaster series. It totally discounts the Rebirth series, but you get a little more in-depth on the um, actual characters. Now let's take a look at the Headmaster here. Now in the Hasbro line, he is called Arcana. He is a Nebulon. Um, okay looking fig here. Nice detail. And the Takara, excuse me, I forgot about that. Um, he is called Kana, and he is just a Cybertronian who, um, along with some of the other Headmasters, left Cybertron early on and... Um, I think um, landed on Planet Master or something like that. But very, very nice detail. I mean, the Headmasters actually had a little bit better detailing than some of the other gimmick um, toys, especially the Target Masters. I do like the, um, you got the molded arms there, even down to the boots on the legs. Articulation, it's got quite a bit for such a small guy. You can put him in the seated position. You can move his legs at the um, knee, I guess, back and forth. Now, you can move his arms forward, but unfortunately, it's hindered by this little piece of plastic. You can kind of see it right here. So if you're trying to move him forward, it pushes up against the backpack, unfortunately. And it would have been nice if Takara Hasbro would have been able to shave that off so you can actually get full range of motion in his arms. But you can move him forward, but you do risk breaking that peg right there. So um, just be careful of that. All right. So let's take a look at the body now. Transform him real quickly. Now, if you're looking at getting this guy complete, he does have a left and right gun. It's solid on one side. On the other, it's hollow. And if you want, I mean, it does have an L and an R on the other side of him. So, so I guess you can tell. What we're going to do first is just fold the um, front of the plane back. Rotate his legs around. Nice ratchety joints. And fold down his feet. Like so. Fold the wing portions back. Now he is probably the shortest headmaster in, out of the four. And he is very, um, in my opinion, disproportioned. <laughs> As you can kind of see there. But, um... There's another little gimmick of the Headmasters. As you can see on his chest there, he's got kind of a um, power reading, speed, strength, and an intelligence. Now all the Headmasters have something different that's not all the same, but it's really cool to have their um, kind of their tech specs there. So you're just gonna fold up the Headmaster. And there's Brainstorm. Have a nice Prime-esque looking face. And pop it on and you can see that he is very fast, not too strong and intelligent. You kind of have to be careful with this piece right here. They're notorious for um, getting stressed or just breaking off just with the wear and tear of opening and closing it all the time. So be aware of that. Put his guns on here. Articulation is not too bad. You can um, rotate his arms around 360 degrees. If you want, I guess you can kind of bend his forearm forward, I guess, if you want. He does have the nice ratchet joints like we heard before. You go forward and back. Kind of got a nice knee joint or a thigh, I don't know. It's kind of an odd place. Again, he's kind of disproportioned. But um, very sweet fig. 
Real quickly, here he is next to Chrome Dome. You can kind of see the size comparison there. And since um, Fans Projects is coming out with a Smart Robin, um, he's not out just yet. Here is the Chrome Dome version, which I forgot his name now. Oh, oh well. So the Fans Project Chrome Dome, and you can see they're pretty much on par with each other in size. Brainstorm here is a very sweet fig. Um, again, his accessory pieces, obviously the head, you got the two guns. He doesn't have any other little accessory pieces like highbrow with the vents or anything like that. So um, this is all you got to find to um, complete them. So not too terribly expensive either. Really nice G1 fig. So this has just been a quick look at Brainstorm, guys. Thank you for watching again. I really do appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.